Hello everybody and welcome to me riding my wife's Yamaha YBR 125 and the reason I'm doing that is because it's MOT day. Dom's TC. For this bike and my MT01. So I thought I'd uh, try and film the, the whole debacle with me trying to get two bikes MOT'd in a morning. I've given this bike a good look over so I think it should be okay there's no real issues with it apart from the fact it's absolutely tiny uh, it's only done 64 about we've probably done about got about 80 miles in a year on it my wife just hasn't had the confidence to get out on it although she's slowly getting there very slowly getting there it's a little bit overcast and chilly today and it's a 4th of July. It's a funny thing, uh, 125s, aren't they? They feel... Well, they definitely feel tiny, obviously. Especially for someone like me. The thing that I find with them is... You're almost... They're like, a, obviously, a learner vehicle, because they're small. But they're actually more difficult to ride than a bigger bike. Because you're constantly searching the gears you're having to think way more what's going on around you which I suppose puts you in a good frame of mind for bigger bikes or when you pass your test but I'm you know I'm experienced rider and I still have to think about everything because there's not enough oomph and everything's so compact stop oh, flipping off the really Slip that clutch and get this thing moving with me on it. So once this has had its MOT, we'll be taking it, going back home and taking the MTO one in as well for its MOT. Now obviously the good thing after that, I can go straight to work after that. Now the idea would have been, ideally, my wife would have um, been able to take the bike in as well, but we just haven't had the time um, because I'm a bit of a numpty and organised two M MOTs on one day and didn't really think about it. This is the situation we're in, with me going backwards and forwards. Luckily, the MOT centre isn't too far away, or the uh, motorcycle shop where they do MOTs is not too far away. I'm just hoping they can get it done pretty straight. They did tell me they'd get it done early in the morning as soon as I brought in. So I've just got to wait and see how that goes. Definitely uh, a struggle to speed on this thing. I'm really impressed that it's... Um, sat for a year pretty much using reg very irregularly once it's warmed up it's very smooth so quiet Whee! I think the chain on this is a little bit had it but I think it'll be okay for another MOT if not I'll be uh, ordering a new one they tend to go food chains I think these guys because uh, they're, they're like bicycle chains gear change is all good lights all work indicators all work Suspension isn't knocking really at all any more than look at that boing 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 it barely works. And there's not enough travel to make it work. In we go. Got a bit of a squeak on this. I think it's just exhaust rubbing on its mount. Here we go. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that squeak. It's hilarious. M O T M O T. Here we go, here we are at GV. There you go, fine neutral in that hilarious gearbox. So there we go. Let's see how we get on. Well that's the MOT passed on the little YBR. So now, let me get this one back. And back the MT01. Wee! <laughs> Certainly good fun, aren't they? I, th I think you've got to give them that. They are hilarious to ride. I'm sure I look like a massive twat on it. My wife doesn't. It suits her because she's only little. But yeah, that's good. That's no advisories. MOT passed, good as gold, 
So another year. Why have they put MTO one on there? <laughs> I hope they haven't put. I'll check that. Another year. I keep missing my feet on the flipping pegs. Another year of safe riding. Uh. You think you sort of forget how non-existent, it's almost like the engine's just vibrating this thing forward. But I did have a nice sausage sandwich and a cup of tea while I waited for the bike to be MOT'd. I've got to do a service on this actually, I've just realised it's been a year so I'm going to have to do a little service on it. And I, I looked up the service kit for it, oil, filter and stuff and stuff. Uh, it's only about 25 quid. So... I wonder if I'll do a video about it. Right, bike number two! Right, so, bike number two for the MOT. The MTO one So obviously to get it through an MOT, I have to put a great big dinner plate number plate on it. And put the baffles back in. So it doesn't sound as good as it usually does. Well, it sounds good, it's just a bit more far. I don't know, like the, on the, um, when it's idling, it's like, it's not, it's not, um, it's not gonna blast your ears off. And it doesn't pop and bang as much, which is just boring. So, you, it makes no difference to the performance taking out the exhaust baffles, but you feel like it does because it's so much more raucous. It's almost like it, it's that extra character makes it feel faster. <laughs> In the right gear. So you still get that big lumpy V-twin noise. But as you come off the overrun, it's quiet. It's very disconcerting. You see, it just goes blah. So it's like blah, blah. Whereas before it would be blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah. It's like <laughs> motorcycle language. Blah, 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 blah. And you lot will all know exactly what I'm talking about. Blah, blah. So, you get that blur, which is like the acceleration, and then the blur, which is the as you come off the throttle. Blah blah. Blah blah blah. Now I just sound like I'm doing a bad French impression. It's so weird coming off a tiny little bike and coming back onto this in such a short space of time. One thing I will say about that 125 is it's very flickable. <laughs> you feel like you just, whoop, off it goes, whoop, off it goes. Right, well we were supposed to have rain today, so it's held off, thank God, because it always rains on MOT day for me. It's a good thing. That's good. Oh, French and German, amazing multilingual not just bilingual we'll get this down the garage we're making the mechanics mechanics and hopefully it passes I think I've checked everything I can on it brakes all feel good there's nothing knocking is what we want and all the lights work and the horn and yes the silly little things that your bike can fail on are worth checking and I think sometimes it's down to the interpretation of the actual MOT themselves as to what is a pass or fail I mean, this is covered in flies at the moment. <laughs> I don't think that'll be a failure. It's just filthy. 
definitely needs a good clean. So, looking at time of year where you get covered in flies. But as soon as it's finished the MOT, when I get home, I'll be swapping back on for a little number plate and removing those baffles. Because I'm such a naughty boy. I'm the naughtiest of all the boys. I just like my bike to sound like I like it. And I like the rear wheel on show. And I'm not really sure what difference a number plate makes to an MOT, but it's regulations, I suppose. I'm also not really sure why your exhausts have to be this. Again, regulations. Regulations. I won't go into that. And we could probably put the world to rights all day long. I just like a tidy rear end. Coming in the GV bikes. Now it's down this little tiny place here, which is always good fun, especially if you're in the car. We've got space in the MOT area, there we go. So let's get this one booked in and I'll give you the results in a minute. Well, I can't say I'm not gutted, but this bloody thing has failed. Nothing major, really annoying. So when you look, indicator working, indicator not working, just left hand one. So I've ordered a new set and then I have to come back for a retest. It's just really frustrating, I didn't look at that one. I'm sure it was working. It looks like water's got into it uh, and it's caused a circuitry at the back of the LED indicators to rust away and fail so I've ordered a new pair the back right one's working it's just the back left because otherwise it would have passed with flying colours oh, it's just annoying I'm annoyed that I didn't check it and the trouble is I've had to spend out another 24 quid on a set of new indicators I have to get them fitted and bring it back for a retest <sighs> okay so we have replaced the indicator on the back right hand side and we are going back to get a retest done I'm absolutely gutted uh, this is the first time in ages that I've had a bike actually properly fail and it seems crazy such a small thing would cause a failure but I suppose anything that isn't working on the bike is a failure and those indicators were definitely working because I double checked and triple checked. Well, I had to buy a new pair of indicators for the back and I put a new one on the back left hand side as required and uh, these indicators come without any connections so you have to sort of strip them down a bit and put some new bullet connectors on I'll put a link up for my video about putting these indicators on the bike in the first place. It's just the same procedure basically. They've got some Yamaha connectors and butchered them rather than butchering the original Yamaha indicators. So hopefully, I can't cross my fingers in these, fingers crossed we have a pass in a minute so I'm just taking it back to GV bikes which is where it had its uh, 
MOT done in the first place. And the first part of this video was made last week and we are now a week later because it took that long to get some new ones in, new indicators in, and this is the first day I've actually been able to get back to get the retest done. I think you get 10 days for a retest. Ugh, holes everywhere. Absolutely tons of holes everywhere. It's driving me mad at the moment. The roads are in a horrendous state. Almost, I would say, dangerous in some places. Right, so in we go. We'll get this retest done. And hopefully we'll be all road legal again soon. Let's go and speak to the guys and hope and pray you can get it in nice and quick. Ponk it here. Well, that's the MOT all passed now, and my bike is filthy because it was raining this morning. So I'm gutted about that, but there we go. Always rains on MOT, though. And uh, yeah, so we're all good and road legal again. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. So now I can get home, take, put the little tiny number plate on, take the baffles out. So well happy we are now legal for another year and that's two bikes set and done. Which is most excellent. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, slightly different video in that it's the MOTs being done. I, I don't know how well it's going to come out, but we'll see. Uh, in the meantime, if this is your first time watching the channel, please give me a thumbs up, give me a subscribe, comment below, let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time on the Toms of the TCs.